Raya Rage is a crisis response senior advisor for Amnesty International. She has also co-authored an amnesty investigation into extrajudicial killings in Philippines drug war. Raya, welcome to our program. Um, the Philippines government basically is saying, sure, go ahead, investigate us, as long as it's not going to be Agnes Calamard. So what is their problem with her? We saw in the piece uh, that our, our reporter file, they don't think she's objective and unbiased. What is your take? We continue to urge the uh, government of the Philippines to uh, extend invitations to the various uh, UN experts and special rapporteurs uh, concerned with the ongoing operations in the Philippines, be it the uh, rapporteur on extrajudicial executions, the rapporteur on poverty and human rights, the rapporteur on the right to health, uh, or the rapporteur on human rights defenders. The reality is that we have seen uh, this ongoing uh, campaign of dismissive remarks by uh, President Duterte, members of his administration and staff, directed at anyone perceived as a critic or an opponent of their drug policy. This has been targeted against um, local critics as well as international figures, uh, be it Agnes Calamar or others. They have turned it into an actual direct uh, campaign of attacks against her, uh, profanity-laced attacks, uh, in fact, uh, threats of personal, uh, rather physical uh, violence. And so, these kind of remarks aren't really indicative of a genuine willingness to cooperate with international experts and international mechanisms, which is why not only are we asking for them to extend invitations to these special rapporteurs, but to allow uh, full-fledged UN investigations into well, the ongoing war on drugs, well, or so-called war on drugs. Well, I mean, can Duterte and his government dictate who should be able to investigate and who is not able to investigate these alleged crimes? Well, naturally, they need to be uh, the ones extending the invitations to the relevant special rapporteurs. But aside from the visits of the special rapporteurs, the government of the Philippines should be willing to invite the UN for investigating uh, what's going on or be subject to essentially a resolution from the Human Rights Council setting up a mechanism to investigate what's, owing, what's going on the ground. Our primary concern really is that we haven't seen any indication that the government of the Philippines is willing to change its approach when it comes to its so-called war on drugs. The Philippines should not and cannot be dealing with its drug problem at gunpoint. What it should be doing is instead uh, using a uh, public health-based approach that respects human rights and allows for justice and accountability. Well, they actually issued a statement speaking at the UN Human Rights Meeting in Geneva, and I want to get your reaction to what the Foreign Secretary Alan Peter Caetano from the Philippines had to say, he goes, human rights becomes a human wrong when the ridiculous assertion is taken seriously that drugs are harmless, that their effects are benign at best and passing at worst, and that taking the most vigorous measures to stop the evil trade constitutes genocide. That puts drug dealers and drug pushers on the same moral level as victims of Holocaust. Raya, what would you say to that? Well, we have seen repeated remarks from the specific officials and other officials within the administration amounting to essentially whitewashing uh, this murderous campaign that we have been seeing going on in the Philippines. As I mentioned, no one is uh, questioning the right of the Philippines to, the government of the Philippines to deal with its drug problem. The question is the approach and the human rights and public health-based approach that we are calling for instead of a criminal-based approach. And for example, when we we see the reinstatement of the role of the police uh, in December, uh, and we've seen specific concerns about uh, uh, guarantees that these kind of actions will not be uh, bloodless. In fact, uh, just over the past few weeks since the reinstatement of the role of the police, we've seen up to 90 people killed in renewed police uh, so-called anti-drug operations. There's a huge discrepancy between the figures that the government is providing and the, and the figures we believe uh, have been uh, uh, extrajudicially executed or killed in this murderous campaign. And this is exactly why we need independent investigations into what's going on, given right. the lack of accountability and pervasive impunity we've been witnessing. Raya Rage, thank you.